Hi, my name is Richard Duffy and I am the Product Evangelist here at Enterprise. And what I'd like to do in this video is show you how the end-to-end -end sales to delivery process works with Enterprise. We're going to start off by creating a sales order in the web app. And then we're going to take it right through to the point at which you complete the delivery and get a proof of delivery signed by the delivery customer with the mobile delivery app from Enterprise. So to get started, we'll dive into sales and then we'll go into our orders section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sales order and I'm going to create a new sales order for Earthshaker. So if I go in here and I start typing the customer's name and I'll select Earthshaker, then I'm going to deliver this to Bob McKensley because he's the person at Earthshaker that placed the order. They want this order delivered on Monday the 22nd. So I'm going to select that as the delivery date and then I'm going to specify what the products are that they want. So they want the JB Office Print 1420 and they want 10 of those. And I'm going to add an additional line. They also want the JB Office Print 1111 and they want 10 of those as well. And you'll see when I change either the customer, the product or the quantity, Enterprise will go through and it will check in SAP Business One, but check and validate the pricing rules to see if the customer is entitled to any special pricing based on customer special pricing, based on quantity breaks, uh, and so on and so forth. But that's it, that's what I want. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give them a 2% discount on each of those products. And so we're just gonna double check, make sure everything's okay. So my salesperson is demo one, so that's great. My posting date is the 21st, so that's today, Sunday. But my delivery date is the 22nd of May, so that's Monday. So that's all good. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to hit save. And it's going to automatically email a copy of the order confirmation to the customer, just basically saying, thanks for placing an order, and here's the details of what you've ordered. And here are the details that the customer will see. So it's sales order 863. And so the next step is to go in and take a look at the delivery process. So now you'll see when I'm in here in my deliveries and I'm looking at my sales orders, there it is, there's sales order number 863. It's basically sitting as a sales order. Now you'll know in SAP Business One, you can take a sales order and turn it into a delivery and then turn that delivery into an invoice. But in this particular instance, the sales order is purely sitting there at that sales order phase. So what I then do is I can come across here to my scheduler and you'll recall that we did specify that we had that sales order 863 and that we wanted that to be delivered on the 22nd. So when I go in here and I look at Monday the 22nd and I select my delivery driver, so I'll select delivery driver demo one and then I'll look at Monday the 22nd and there you'll see that order is now automatically scheduled for me to be delivered. Now, here's an interesting point. I'm using the Enterprise app and I'm located in Australia, but our server is located in the United Kingdom. So the start of the day for me, uh, when I want my deliveries to start is configured to be the start of the day in the UK. So that's why you're seeing this order automatically being scheduled for 8 a.m. You see there for a half an hour delivery window from 8 to 8.30, but that's based on the server time where the server is located. So again, I can just take that order and I can bring it up here and I can reschedule that to a time that's more appropriate for here in, um, Australia so and we're gonna pop it up here and we're gonna say well, we're gonna deliver that between 12 and 1230 on Monday the 22nd so the sales order is now effectively scheduled the great thing about this is that that management of the sales order scheduling and setting up of the time when we want the sales orders to be delivered for the customer can actually be set up inside enterprise by going in here into settings and then you go in into delivery. And what you can do is you can pick the customer. So you'll see across here, I can go in here and I can choose my customer. And in this case, we're gonna say it's Earthshaker. 
and there's Earthshaker Corporation and we can see that the default delivery driver is currently set to demo one and then we're also able to specify some default delivery times that we want to have applied for that particular sales order okay so you're able to configure that and you're able to specify that for sales orders and sales de deliveries as well okay but that process is now being completed and so if I go back and I look at my delivery process you'll see again that that delivery is now scheduled for Monday the 22nd and it's scheduled for midday okay so now let's go and take a look at what happens from a delivery drivers perspective so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly toggle across into my mobile app I can go here into my enterprise delivery app and so I'm going to sign in again as our standard demo user which you'll recall is demo1 at enterprise.com now of course if I'm using an app like SwiftKey it makes that whole process a lot easier because it remembers those regular keystrokes and my password once again is demo1 user and so I'm going to choose to sign into enterprise now there's a couple of key things to remember with uh, the delivery app if you want to make sure that you've got the most up-to-date offline database with the application you need to go up here and click on the synchronize button so we're just going to tap on that and that's going to synchronize our orders a couple of other things that you need to do as well is if you tap across here onto the menu area you want to make sure that you are looking at the right transactions so remember we have orders and then we have those deliveries and that represents what stage it's in from an SAP business one perspective is it a sales order or is it a sales order that's been moved to the delivery phase so I go here and I tap on orders and you'll now see it's refreshing all of my order information but now I want to take a look at Monday the 22nd so when I pick Monday the 22nd and I say OK you can see there is my sales order for Earthshaker Corporation and it has two lines so what I can do is I can now tap on that sales order so I'm now the, the delivery driver I'm out on site with the customer now I can record what time I, I arrived and I can also record what time I departed so again in this particular instance let's just say it is now tomorrow I can record that I arrived at 1205 because remember with some customers you may have very specific rules around when you're allowed to make deliveries some bigger retailers for example have very strict guidelines as to when you can and can't make deliveries to their stores and sometimes they have penalties around that so it's important that you actually have proof of the fact that you were on site at that location at that particular time so you can say you know what I was there on the 22nd of May I arrived at 1205 and then I can say I left so I completed my delivery and I left at 1220 and so what I can now do is I'm able to get the customer to sign the proof of delivery so all I do is I pass the device to my customer get them to sign the proof of delivery and then I hit save and you'll see that that proof of delivery signature is now attached to my delivery note in the system now the next thing that I might also want to do is I might be in a situation where I'm actually short delivering maybe the customer turned around and they said you know what actually we only want five now so I have the capability to go in here and change to record that I actually only delivered five all right which can be quite a handy thing to have as well so when that's done what I now do is I simply tap on the button that says deliver and that order is now completed and so there are now no orders shown for the selected date so then if I go back here and I'm now looking inside the delivery app you'll now see that that sales order is now locked 
because the delivery has now taken place. So that's it. Again, if you want to, you can click in here and take a look at that sales order. And now you'll see that that order has been delivered. It's locked. And what I can do is I can now go here and instead of looking at my sales orders, I can select deliveries. And there is my delivery. You'll see it's actually taken that sales order number 863 and turned it into delivery number 527. So that has automatically been updated in the back and SAP Business One solution. So now if I'm going into SAP Business One, I'm gonna be looking for a delivery order, not a sales order. So again, to make sure that that's all correct, I can select that, I can look at my details, and you can see there's my sales delivery 527. You'll see the quantities were adjusted because remember we short delivered. And then I've got my proof of delivery signed off by the customer. So that's it, very, very quick, very simple, and a very easy way to streamline that aspect of the customer service process. Going from sales order all the way through to delivery, quickly, easily, with a combination of the Enterprise Web App and the Enterprise Mobile App for delivery.